city of Fayetteville, located in the northwest corner of Arkansas, is the site for another college football brouhaha. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Arkansas lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 23-yard line, Third down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. From their own 38 yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Throws it in a hurry. He's at the 40. Tackle around the 35-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the 20-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And they'll run him again. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line.
They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The Raging Cajuns running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. It looks like he's ready to go. And the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Louisiana Lafayette ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 22. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. Outstanding pressure here on the quarterback. They sent every one of those linebackers, and even though they couldn't get to the quarterback, they were able to prevent the first down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Louisiana Lafayette has a three-point lead. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He scrambled. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. Got a man wide open, and it goes through his hands. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes it out to about the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. the 42. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Now 
he's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 6 nothing, Raging Cajun. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds third down and they need to get it inside the 48 boy was he drilled as he let go of that football yeah he's gonna feel that one tomorrow that brings up fourth and 11. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 45. That's good for the 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Louisiana Lafayette. Up six. the stop right around the 40 and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there they're about four yards away here on third down looks middle got his back tackle at the 41 Fielded at the 19. Brought down at the 27-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. That's good for Second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they push him out around the 44-yard line. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Good outside run there. From the 38-yard line, second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Now 
Browns first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. This play is number eight on the drive. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 7-6. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw out to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. First and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. He goes out of bounds, right around the 50. That makes it second and six. defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Arkansas with a one-point lead. Out of bounds around the 31-yard line. That makes it second and six. to that quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the 19. From the 19-yard line. First down. Across the middle. Tight end's got it. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Arkansas is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Good 
job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the eight-yard line, it's second down. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. The Ragin' Cajuns will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. So at the end of the half, Arkansas leads it 14-6. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Arkansas is up by eight. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. quickly and he's got his man and he shoved out of bounds at about the 41 he's at midfield brought down at about the 47 yard line First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and 10. At the 30, he's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. He 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Razorbacks saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Arkansas holds an eight-point advantage. Screen pass. He's got his hat back. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. That'll bring up third and eight. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. Wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Razorbacks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets rid of this one. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Fight five, fight five. 20, 25. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 30-yard line. That'll make it 35. Strike complete, and he's tackled at the 37. That's a game of seven. First down. High five. High five. He's taken down at the 38 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. Well, the defense doing a great job of getting pressure on this quarterback. That time they brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big sack. They push him out at the 32-yard line. Arkansas is showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They go with a toss. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Touchdown. Big play. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play.
And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 68-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now, 28-6. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Raging Cajuns have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly incomplete. Wow, Brad. You talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Nice run to the outside. That's good for the That'll bring up second and three. Another run. He's at the 40. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. At the 32. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. That's a game of two. They try to get a head start there. Ball start offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 28 to 9, Arkansas. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he's taken down at the 26. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. Arkansas's lead is 19. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Roger, Roger. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball.
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. Fires out quick, it's picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own, 41 yards, first down. seven-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. out to the tight end again completes good tackle there in space from the 27 yard line first down in the shotgun and five wide outs Slings it, brought down at the 10-yard line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 11. They come out in an empty backfield. And two. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Where? He's not going to get me. it out to his receiver in a hurry. They get on the board again. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a, play. That'll make it seven to seven. a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss.
So that sack will back them up a little now. They're looking at a difficult third and 13. Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. That's your goal on every possession. Force a three and out, and don't allow the offense to get into any sort of rhythm. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gains his way to midfield. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. it out to about the 44-yard line. For Kirk and Aaron, I think I can say we're glad this one's over. Arkansas, 35, Louisiana Lafayette, 9. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.